welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a beauty haul. So I have never done a video like this before and you might notice that I have no makeup on and that is because I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I got in the mail and also show you me putting it on. So by the end, I'll have a little bit of makeup on. Um, I don't tend to wear a lot of makeup in general, but I am a huge fan of this company that I discovered a couple months ago. I think it was back in August that I first started using them and it's called Beauty Counter. You have heard me talk about it before. I've shared it in some of my favorites videos, but I just did a big order and I'm really excited about some of the stuff that came in the mail, so I wanted to share it with you. So the first product that I ordered is their daily shampoo. I have a friend that uses this and swears by it. And I really have been needing a new shampoo. I like the shampoo I have currently, but I talked about this in, a, in one of my previous videos, but I have a really dry spot on the back of my head right back here and it's really itchy. So I feel like the shampoo that I'm using is obviously not helping the situation. Um, so I'm gonna try this shampoo. I'll probably add some tea tree oil like once in a while um, as I'm like lathering up. But hopefully this shampoo will help me with this dry spot. And I've heard amazing things and I'll definitely make sure to let you guys know. So I'm obviously not gonna show me lathering my head in shampoo. So I thought this would be a good one to start with. And then I will walk through the other products and show you some of the makeup ones as I put them on. Next up is another thing for the shower. Um, this is their charcoal soap. I really, really, really like this soap. I've been using it for a couple months. Um, it's really cleansing, it's purifying, it's detoxifying, it's great for the skin, doesn't have a smell, which I really like. And it goes on really smooth, doesn't leave you kind of like What's the word? You know how sometimes when you use soap and then you rinse it off, you're like kind of like tacky or skin just is kind of like sticky almost? This doesn't do that at all. Um, I love it. I highly recommend it. Next thing I got was their Nourishing Cream Cleanser. So I have been using cream slash milk cleansers for about a year now. I switched from using foaming cleansers. I don't know why, I just feel like they're a lot more nourishing and healthy for my skin. So I've used the Dr. Hauschka one before, I've used the Andalou one before, I've used an Acure one before, and now I'm going to try the Beauty Counter one. I think out of the three that I've tried so far, the Dr. Hauschka one is my favorite. I don't have problem skin, I don't really get Zits, except I have a little one right here right now, but I don't tend to get zits. Um, I have pretty clear skin. I think that has to do with drinking a lot of water and eating healthy, but basically I just am looking for a really kind of hydrating and nourishing cleanser, and that's why I like to use cream cleansers, and I'm really excited to try the one from Beauty Counter. All right, I'm really excited about the next four products. These ones are the things that I was so eager to try. The first is called their Balancing Sorry, they're balancing facial oil. And I always use oils, especially at night, um, instead of a kind of like lotion-y moisturizer. I find that my skin really like soaks up oils really well. And this one, um, I actually did try, my friend has this, and when we were staying together on a trip, I used hers and I was obsessed. The smell is amazing. You can tell that there are essential oils in here and it is super hydrating, it doesn't leave you greasy, it's light, um, it's nourishing, and it's something that I plan to use twice a day, especially during the winter time, because of course like our skin totally dries out in the winter, so oils are a great thing to use in the winter. A little oil goes a long way, so I know that this is gonna last me a long time. I actually did break it open this morning, and I used it on my face this morning, and I my skin feels so soft, I love it. So I'll definitely keep you guys posted about this. And don't forget, as I'm going through, all of these products will be linked in the description box below, so you can check them out if you want to try them. So now let's dive into the three pieces of makeup that I got. So like I said, not a big makeup person. I usually, for makeup, just do a tinted moisturizer, and then I do a powder, I've talked about the powder that I use from Beauty Counter before, it's like a finishing powder. I also use a cheek stain sometimes, like especially if I'm going out, I'll use a cheek stain. And then I just use eyeliner and under eye concealer, of course, in case you can't tell, I look very sleepy with my bags under my eyes today, but that's okay. Um, so I use an under eye concealer and then I use mascara and a little bit of liner and that's pretty much it. Sometimes I also actually also fill in my brows, but again, 
no makeup on today. So let me show you what I picked up and then I'll show you as I put it on. Okay, so the first thing is this Dew Skin Tinted Moisturizer. So this is Beauty Counter's Tinted Moisturizer and it has SPF. And I actually, not gonna lie, I've tried this before, my friend has it and I absolutely love it. If you're looking for something that has like gives you that dewy kind of really soft look with some even coverage, not too heavy. The Dew Skin is a great option. I'm not a big foundation person, um, especially since I don't have a ton of acne or anything like that. So tinted moisturizers give me enough coverage. I love that they have SPF, so it's protecting me from the sun, keeping away the wrinkles, which I know we all wanna do. And it comes in a bunch of different shades, so you can like match whichever works for your face. Then the next thing I bought is an under eye concealer. So this, again, my friend had, so I tried, and I was like, I need to have that. This is one of those um, little like twister pens. So let me show you. So it comes in this like pretty gold thing and you take the thing out and then you push um, the button on the bottom. Yeah, and then the stuff comes out and I'm sure you've seen these before. You can like dab it on your finger. You can just dab it straight under your eyes and pat it in. You could put it on a beauty blender and like kind of blend it in. Um, but this is the light color. So the skin under your eyes is very thin. And so sometimes if you put an under eye concealer on that's too heavy, it gets kind of cakey and it like shows on your pores or it doesn't blend in very well. This one is really smooth. It feels really hydrating and it blends beautifully. So I am really excited to have this in my repertoire. I was running low on my old stuff and clearly, again, you can see I have bags under my eyes today and this is a go-to for me. And last but not least is their lengthening mascara. So I usually use a mascara from 100% Pure. I like that it's all natural. I like that it's tinted with fruit pigments instead of like any additives or fake, but since Beauty Counter is a safe cosmetics brand, I was confident that this would work better than the one I have because the one I have right now isn't like lengthening or anything. It just kind of makes my eyelashes darker and you can't even totally tell that I'm wearing mascara all the time. You're gonna see the difference between what I have on now, which is nothing, and then when I put this on. So now let's head into my bathroom. I've never filmed in my bathroom before, so I don't know what the lighting situation is gonna be, but I'll play around with it. Hopefully I can find something that works so that you can still see what I'm doing and I'll show you how I'm applying all of these different things. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna use is the Dew Skin Tinted Moisturizer and it's just like a little pump thing. So I'm gonna just pump some into my hands and I'm using about that much. I don't know if you can see in the mirror, but then I just kind of like spread it around Okay, all rubbed in. So the next thing I'm gonna use is the Beauty Counter Under Eye Concealer. I just have to pump it out, so. Here it comes. Okay, so I'm actually gonna just dab it on my eyes, under my eyes. Like this. And then I'm gonna use just my little Beauty Blender little one and I'm just gonna blend it under my eyes and I like to come down just give it a little bit more even coverage and then I tend to also once it's kind of blended in with the beauty blender just kind of like smooth it over and then I have a little spot right there so I'm gonna just do that. I'm done. If I was wearing blush, I would put the blush on now, obviously, but since I'm not, I'm going to then top it with my Beauty Counter, what is this called? My Matte Skin Powder, so it's the Mattify Skin Setting Powder. And I just 
tap a little like that and it's white I know it seems scary but it's not gonna you're not gonna be able to see it and that just helps to set the makeup or the concealer or whatever you're wearing so now it's all set now I'm going to do my mascara so I'm gonna start with my little eyelash curler And then I'm gonna use the Beauty Counter Lengthening Mascara. So this is the Lengthening Mascara, and I got it in black. It's really th like kind of thin, but it's making my lashes look really natural. Doesn't look like I'm wearing a ton of mascara, which I really like. Does anyone else always have their mouth open when you put mascara on? I always do. I don't know why. So simple. This is my everyday look. So now I'm going to go back in the, in the living room and finish off this video for you. So I haven't seen the footage from the bathroom yet, so let's hope that it works out. If it doesn't, sorry, but hopefully this at least gives you an idea of A, how I tend to wear makeup on an everyday basis. So this is my pretty much everyday look. Tinted moisturizer, the finishing powder, sometimes I have eyeliner and always mascara. And then that is how I also am now using the new beauty counter products that I bought. So I will say, my skin is feeling lovely. It's so soft. Um, I don't know if you can tell in the light, but it's kind of dewy and sorry, there's a helicopter flying overhead right now if you can hear that in the background. But my skin feels really soft and it doesn't feel like I'm wearing practically anything. I mean, I can't even feel that I'm wearing anything besides maybe the mascara because I can feel it on my eyelashes. But again, this is a brand that I really stand behind. I have been trying new products every single month and the things that I have really enjoyed so far are the cleansing bar that I just talked about. I've just reordered my third one the charcoal mask, which I've talked about before. I love their sunscreen. I'm now really liking their tinted moisturizer, the Dew Skin. I like the mascara. So I'll update it, update the description box with what I think of the shampoo. I love, love, love the face oil that I bought, the balancing face oil. But probably my favorite thing of all is the charcoal mask. I've talked about that before and it is incredible. I mean, it is just, it's the best mask I've ever tried, and if you buy anything from Beauty Counter or you are just want to try something from Beauty Counter, start with the mask. It's amazing. I absolutely stand by it 100%. I have seen the personal benefits on my skin. It just like sucks everything out of your pores. It is amazing. So I will leave links to all of the products that I ordered today. I love your feedback if you enjoyed this type of video because I've definitely never shared anything like this before, but I do do a lot of online shopping. So if you want to see more like unboxing slash haul videos, let me know. Um, I especially could do them with the food that I buy online. I've done that before, but I could do like maybe it on a monthly basis or just let me know. If you're interested in clothing, I could talk about clothing too. I don't buy a ton of clothing, but Mostly what I purchase online is natural beauty products and healthy food stuff that I can't find locally or it's more expensive locally. So let me know what you think of this type of video. If you've tried Beauty Counter before, I would love to know what products you like. If you haven't tried Beauty Counter before, highly recommend you check it out. If you are in the United States and you have a Target near you, they are now in Target, which is amazing. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you next week for a brand new recipe video. I'm showing you how to make homemade nut butter three different ways, and I know you guys are gonna love it. So have a great rest of your day, have a fabulous weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.